What is this place? I see you, but you are no elf. This place is not for you. Its trial is not for you to attempt. Very well. You may face the trial. You shall learn all that you need to know. Show patience. Elves know that nature is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. The Four Seasons have served our people well. Four heroes rest before you, wielders of the seasons. Pay homage to their skills, solve their riddle, and prove yourself worthy of elven respect, if you can. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a harp. Spring quenches with bloody rebirth. I am the voice of the fire. My flame bears the will of all the elves and lights the way for those who wish to prove their mettle. From somewhere within the totem, a voice booms. Winter, that armors our forest home in ice and snow. Let it make our enemies stumble and fall, and make them easy meals for our spears. I see winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles. Otherworldly voice. Spring. Gentle so that the others may be strong. The fallen quench the soil with their blood and hasten the rebirth. Death becomes life, as is our way. Totem stands dormant. A deep voice rises from within the totem. Summer, fierce and unyielding. May we cast the power of the sun against those who bring violence. The sun gives life to our trees but burns their flesh. and shown mastery over the seasons. Now you must face the trial of combat.
The trial of combat has ended. You are victorious. Your prize awaits. Use it wisely, as a true friend of the elves. Go no further. We are at ritual. Do not disturb us. Enter then. Keep respect. Three battle-weary elven warriors make ritual over the body of a fallen comrade. They're chanting low and fierce. The pain of their loss is manifest in every word. Blood to earth, to wood, to birth. The blood of Sarius to this earth. The tallest, strongest elf, whom you take to be the leader, considers you for a moment. She seems to give you the benefit of the doubt and turns back to the task in hand. She places the tip of a long-bladed spear on poor dead Sarius's chest bone. Blood to earth. Her companions reach out and grasp the spear, ready to plunge it into Sarius's heart. This is not the first time you deal with elven flesh, lone wolf. She folds a powerful hand over yours upon the spear and squeezes as tightly as she can. And when she speaks, it's in a whisper, intended, you think, for your ears and yours alone. Blood to earth. With their leader's fist upon yours, squeezing ever tighter, you brace your fist and grit your teeth. Then, together, you plunge the blade deep into Sarius's heart. The elves then wrench the spear and twist the blade three times in practice motion. Blood flows to the ground, and Sarius's heart lies open, neatly cut in four. Blood to blood! Each warrior plucks a piece of heart and places it in their mouth. Chewing solemnly, their leader looks to you to see what you will do. It tastes as raw heart meat will, with a subtle texture, slick with fast congealing blood. You feel instantly ill. The elven leader gives you a look of what you think might be approval. Sarius is a warrior, proud and true. Blood to blood, earth to earth, wood to wood, Birth to birth, Sarius becomes his tree. May Sarius take root. The elves pick Sarius's bloody corpse from the ground. Tova looks to you, then shakes her head. You should not help. The elves send Sarius to his final resting place. His corpse rolls to a stop at the bottom of the pit. The elven leader stands and stares at her fallen comrade. Then she wipes away a tear and turns away. The tall elf stares into the pit with dry, bloodshot eyes, her face betraying no emotion. She does not turn toward you. That is our business. I thank you for honoring Sarius, but perhaps it is best if you move on. She nods and casts her gaze back into the pit where her comrade lies. We lose too much. We lose our homes, we lose our safety, we lose each other. She looks into your eyes, her face set in a fierce frown. It is enough. No more. Yes, it is as though Tyrus and Dilius himself forgets us. There is no fate for us but the one we make. You attempt to honor us during the ritual. You attempt to honor Sarius. You help remember him. But we need help still, or we perish here. Not only these people here, but all of us. I wonder if you honor us once more. It is something of great importance to me and to my people. Our home forests are gone. The great trees are cut to pieces. The memories inside them nearly lost. They become nothingness 
Unless we find our scion. Yes. There is nothing more important than a scion. We lose our forests Mindset to poachers, to the fog, to the divine order. We lose each other to the wars. A scion is our only hope to survive, to build again. And this scion, she, she is... Her voice catches in her throat. She is my daughter. Her name is Sahela, and she is taken from us. That is why we come here. That is why we lose Sarius, to find her. If she is lost, if our scion is lost, all our people are lost. She is her. everything. Her eyes narrow, her fists clench, and her mouth tightens to a thin line. Do you know the lone wolves? Then you know the risk. We come here to get her back, to bring her home. She is everything to me. She is everything to us. You are the one. We come because of you. I thank you. But the lone wolves take her before we are there. You speak to her. You understand. You see what a gentle soul she is. You see how kind. She is not only a scion, but a precious child. She cannot be lost. You honour us. I fear it is impossible for one of my kind to enter their base. They know we are here. They expect us. She is taken by their leader, a savage man named Roost Anlon. I do not know why, but I know she must return to me. If I lose her, I cannot lose her. We plan another assault. We cannot give up. It is better for us all to die than for Sahela to be lost. I only hope perhaps you find her before then. Good luck. Behold, Kokoko! Behold! It is I, the magic cockerel. Be not frightened by my splendor! I should certainly hope so. Oh, my life's work has been for naught. Send the little bloke my way next time you happen upon him. I'd like to see what a fine specimen the magic cockroach has produced. Kill the w -w wizard! That's right, cockroach! Doubt will serve you ill before the magic cockroach. Well, that'll teach me to second-guess a magic cockerel.